Hi friends, this is Rajeshwar Rai Pati and welcome to my channel Rai Pati. Today we are going to discuss a scenario which is this. I am looking to extract data for reactivated customers. What is a reactivated customer? At least one order in the last week, in the last seven days and no order in the previous eight weeks. How can I calculate this? Now looking at this, it looks complicated guys, but uh, trust me, it is very easy when uh, you have uh, a load is in hand. Now, what did he want? He want the uh, uh, customers who ordered in the last week, right? So earlier in my classes, uh, in the top 15 LODs, I don't remember what that is, but in one scenario, I've discussed about uh, this uh, even first thing i think yeah for the minimum uh for uh cohort analysis we used min order date a fixed customer name min order date so would refer to that video if you like now i'll write something like that not the same fixed okay customer name now i'm not going to take min because i want the latest one so i'm going to take max order date okay when i take max order date for every customer what do i get i get his latest order date right so let me name it as latest order date okay apply okay now let me go to a new sheet here i will drag where is this customer name yeah this is my customer name and then I'll drag latest order date and I'll make this as exact date and it will take them some time because now it's converting it to a uh, continuous value. Now, yeah, so I'll make this as discrete. Now, if you see, see, this is the latest date of every customer. Okay. Now, uh with these customers uh okay uh now what do we want let me go back to the statement we want the customers who uh, who ordered at least once in the last week so of these customers who are those customers who ordered once in at least once in the last week so for that we will write a calculated field which is date diff we all know this date diff of day comma okay okay wait. yeah day comma now next what do we want in this we want like uh what is the latest order date of the customer we know that so let me put my latest order date and then see the late the difference between the latest order date and current data right the latest whatever the statement says in the last one week last one week means you will come count from this day to past seven days or past six days if you include this day so now i want that last day now when you are talking in business now it, it makes sense like using today here right but in minds in the sense of business there might be a scenario where certain day is a holiday so when you are talking about last seven days is it the last seven days from today or the last seven days from the last working day might be today's uh, holiday so it might be from yesterday so in order to remove that scenarios so i'll always use max of order date okay now when what will this give me it will give me whatever the maximum date that is present in the database it can be today it can be yesterday it can be because if my database is uh, getting populated weekly now max order date will not be today it will be the last week okay so that is why i took i hope you understand now what do i want this should be less than or equal to six because for counting from today it is zero date if of the current date to the max order days if, if this is max order date and the max of order date and this is also max of order date it is zero right so last seven days means including today the last six days okay so uh last seven days fine apply okay now i'll drag this to i'll go to sheet two 
I will drag this to filters. Now I will just trick you because I, I want only true ones. Now, of the problem we solved one, the, we got at least one order in the last week. But the second condition is no order in the previous eight weeks. So, here when they say no order in the previous 8 weeks, what is it saying? Now, when I am checking the second most order, now latest order, we already got the latest order, right? Order date, Late, latest order date, we already got. We want the second latest, that means the day, the order date, which is before this latest date. If you get that date, then uh, we can we can get the difference between them and check if it is eight uh, if it is uh, a uh, greater than eight weeks. We will only take those customers whose difference is greater than eight weeks, right? Now, for that we need second second latest date. Then how do we take the second get the second latest date? Now you have a people in line. You have the first person. Now, if you remove that first person, obviously, who is standing second will become the first person. So, that is what I am going to do. Second latest. Okay, how do we get it? Now, fixed customer name. Okay. Now, let's just see. If order date is less than okay latest order date this is my latest order date right if order date is less than my latest order date then give me order date else doesn't matter but i am just writing else null end and i am putting braces this will give me an error because we don't we didn't have any aggregation there but putting an aggregation here will it solve no because these are again role these are these two are working at row level and this if you aggregate it is at the different granularity so if i write any of the uh, aggregation here it is a it will give you error again let me show you that see this will again give you error so just to remove that error i am just placing my aggregation because lod again demands aggregation of the measure right the measure that you are using now you got the second latest day okay now i'm just saying apply okay now let me drag the second data state here okay and uh, let me say exact date just to show you the date and let it be discrete. now see so this customer alan Fong, he ordered the latest was on 24th of december 2020 so some change i have changed the date i think but consider that now his before his uh, second recent is 23 11 2020 so there is a mismanage with the current date but doesn't matter right we are not actually looking at today or something we are looking at max order date so that is the convenience of max order date even if there is uh the, the data is not according to our calendar even then we can manage it and we can work accordingly because uh, the, the the service it is at one location and your uh, local workbook local is another uh, place even then you can manage the solution that you write will work everywhere because it is not basing on any order date any today function nothing okay now the difference between these two should be more than eight weeks right so that is what it is see let me go to the statement again at least one order in the last week and no orders in the previous eight weeks so the difference between these two should be more than eight weeks right so let me write a calculator field. now what uh, what am i taking i'm again taking date diff okay i am taking week here because we need eight weeks right comma which is the first date because in date, date diff you have to take the least date first and then the recent date so i am taking second latest second latest come first then latest right so comma latest order now how much it should be it should be greater than eight then only i am going to consider eight weeks greater 
dr a dr okay fine okay so the cal cal calculation is valid what are we doing here we are calculating the difference between the two first latest order date and the second latest order date and checking if it is greater than 8 or not apply okay and just drag this into filter and select it to apply okay. now this will give you those customers let me check that also i'll just duplicate this where is eight weeks greater edit sorry i'll just duplicate again i don't want to write on this edit and i'll remove this greater than eight and i'll just want to show you now here i'll just put this in here now see this is 49 weeks wait 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 okay this is why is it coming like this okay fine yeah yeah 49 weeks is right right this is january and this is december valid i'm sorry i'm extremely sorry yeah so this is 49 weeks see all this is 16 weeks the difference is 16 weeks so see you got nine weeks but you never you haven't got any which is less than less than eight now let me remove this eight now you can see see three seven eight one four all these are removed so this is the solution guys okay so keep posing if you have any such issues elvodis guys i love elvodis uh, you throw me a problem and i i think with elvodis only so whenever you are struck just you can comment uh, you can connect with telegram or facebook or you can uh, you can you can even comment in the youtube channel or in the facebook videos that i share wherever you want you just comment if you have a problem i'll just uh, if i if it is possible with a direct i'll just put the text there if it is a bit complicated like this i'll definitely make a video and put it for you okay so please do like share and subscribe my channel rai party and also share it with your friends who are actually working on tableau and are struck with tableau okay and there is also a blog uh i don't know let me this web page it, i don't know it will come if it is not just type it ryparty dot blogspot dot this is my uh, blog where i even put the uh some of those real time issues that i answered across all the social medias i just put it in here it is not coming it will take some time but this is the scenario guys okay thank you thanks a lot